63 degrees in Boston right now. Our wind is on shore. We have a fog bank sitting offshore too. Sky 7 caught that. And it's very, very evident. I think it will come in. I'm pretty positive it will come in this evening and then settle for the evening, but not to stay for the night now. It looks like some indications are with a strong south wind kicking up late tonight, we'll be able to scour it out and kick it out, setting the stage for a pretty nice Saturday. 76 in Bedford, 77 in Worcester right now, 79 in Norwood. We have upper 60s and low 70s on Cape Cod and our dew points holding in the upper 50s too and mid 50s down through New York City. So no real heat and steamy heat just yet, but Look at this in Pittsburgh and Washington, D.C. So the dew points will rise tomorrow, kind of a bad hair day with the winds coming out of the south, southwest, and they'll be gusty at times, too. So we're changing things up. We're bringing in a slow moving front for Sunday. That's evident here across the Great Lakes with showers and thunderstorms. What works in our favor for steady rain is the front will slow down, allowing a lot of moisture to tag along it and, and to kind of just meld to it. And so when it settles and stalls across southern New England, the stage is set for some beneficial rains, not only Sunday, but into Monday and Tuesday as well. So kind of three days of drab coming up here over the next couple. I know it shows the clouds and fog still around in the morning, but a lot of that should be gone. And if not, it vanishes between eight and nine. The Cape may have some issues with some clouds along with down East Maine because that fog bank will come on shore more of a southwest wind blowing it away from mass, but into Maine. Now, the showers hold back tomorrow. Look at these coming into Rutland, Vermont, and Albany. No, no, not to arrive in mass until Sunday. Sunday's our day. We may close in on some clouds again tomorrow night, by the way. They may creep back. So 80s and a good beach day all around, too. If you want to stay warm, I think any beaches off of Cape Cod, not to exclude the Cape. There's still some decent beach weather there, but a few more clouds and a cooler reading around 70. Elsewhere, low 80s, mid 80s through Nashua and out through Fitchburg, too. And then we've had some dry weather. Second driest May on record in Boston so far and the driest May on record in Worcester with only 15 cents. And our deficit going back to the first when this dry spell started over five and a half inches in Boston, over six and a half in Worcester. And our chance for rain on Sunday, a good bet. 80% days not washed out. It looks like the afternoon will favor the showers, really starting mid morning and going through the afternoon off and on. I mean, you know, it's not entirely washed out, but it's close. Monday, Tuesday, maybe at least dreary and only in the upper 50s to low 60s.